Hey everyone, welcome to my Byzantium to Roman Empire Iron Man game. I hope you guys join me on this incredible journey from Ottoman lunch meat to world's greatest superpower. All these videos were captured from my live stream over at Twitch. I'll also be making a special video dedicated to the starting moves for Byzantium to defeat the Ottomans and gain all your cores back in just a couple years from the 1444 start date. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and follow me over at Twitch to be notified when I go live next. Or don't. Either way, it's all good. Enjoy. I'm also going to try to explain a lot about the decisions I'm making throughout the, this, this campaign, um, mostly because I don't actually explain it when I'm playing it. This is for new players to the game, obviously, but also if you're a veteran who has not played at Byzantium, this is kind of the meta strategy. And also, if you've noticed throughout this uh, video, my uh, commentary has changed. I actually just got a new microphone in the middle of recording this, so that's why. Whoa. What? I will include uh, added uh, commentary over some parts, just like this one. The reason I'm not speaking about this particular moment is because this is like the third game I've done in a row. Basically what I'm doing here with Epirus is I'm taking my core back, but most importantly I am going to vassalize Epirus because they have a, a pretty large fleet of about 11 ships, and we need those ships in order to take on the Ottomans, which we, we will be declaring war with them very shortly. ready to go. I'm gonna put local defensiveness here. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are really useful. This guy, national manpower, probably gonna be fine. Won't really matter in the end. Ramazan, this is really, really good. This is like the best we could have gotten. Salanic. This one, we have to win this pretty much. It's such a good one. And it's just a tremendous fucking pain in the ass. You get these, and it, like, and you also need Skanderbeg to like help you. But he is a dumbass and doesn't help you a lot of the time. He's truly the most special, like, you need him very badly, and he just never shows the fuck up, like, ever. And immediately he's running off somewhere. Meanwhile, I'm... Okay, he's actually following me. We need to attack these guys immediately because they have no morale. The problem is they're grouped together, and the other problem is the other guy's right there. This is pretty much the war. We win this. Oh my god, he, we won! Oh my god! What the fuck is happening right now? Jesus Christ, are we gonna attack both armies in a row? The reason I'm freaking out here is because one of my main goals in doing this opening strategy is you have to kill all the Ottomans on the Balkan side of their nation because once we take Gallipoli, which I'll do eventually in a little bit, they cannot send their troops across. So if you kill all their enemies on this side of the river, they're basically done for. Where are you going? Okay, perfect, perfect. Skanderbeg, I need you, pal. 
Let's go. Everyone's dead. Okay, everyone is dead. We killed everybody except for like a few guys. So I'm gonna take these guys. I'm gonna wait one turn. Take these guys. Uh, they have no weapons, right? So I'm gonna take these guys. Put these guys up. This should be 1k. Yes. There. Another K. There. I'm gonna say, don't follow me. And everyone spread out. Start carpet sieging everything. Epirus is being all Epiric again, not helping us. So we're gonna placate and then they'll start helping us again. Fucking assholes, man. I'm trying to save, like, the Christian world right now, and Epirus is being all Epirus again. I hate to see it. How are they crossing? Oh, I didn't take Gallipoli yet. They can still fucking cross. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Uh... Uh... Fuck. Don't cross. Those guys are dead. You can actually go fight these guys. I wouldn't. Probably gonna win. I mean, they have. It's just. It's only sloops. So, go fight this battle, and then the war should be over. Everyone just stack on Constantinople. Ah. These guys are dead. Nice. Okay. Now. Perfect. Now I get the peace deal before I lose. Oh, I have no diplomats to send. Oh my god, one more day. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna do... We can give them this, because they want that. I really want this one, but I can't get it. I'm gonna do... This is kind of like the normal shit. We take this one to release... Uh, Bulgaria, and then we take... This one. I need access to Serbia for the next part of this plan, so I'm, I'm gonna need to take this one. I could actually just get war reparations. I could get war reparations and a little bit of money. But I think I'll just take the money and try to, try to get all my loans off, off of me. Um, so th this will release Bulgaria. I take this one. For some reason, they don't even want this. Oh wait, I didn't give anything to them. So I can't really get that much money. They're not happy. Albania is really not that happy. Awesome sauce. Okay. Um, immediately get rid of these guys. Immediately disband these guys. We have recovered Greece. Uh, we have to core Orid real quick. To make. Uh, enemies. I'm not going to do Venice because I don't want them to kill me, so I'll do the Ottomans and I will do Karaman. That way, like, everyone around me likes me a little bit more. And we also finished the diet because the diet was just to get uh, to make a DNA Orthodox or controlled by Orthodox country. And I'm also going to get strong duchies to increase the number of relations I can have because I'm going to have a lot of relations. Uh, like right now, I'm going to release Bulgaria. And the reason that we released Bulgaria is because, oh, they have two provinces. And Ored? I wonder if I should just... Okay, so I'm actually gonna wait to release them because I need Ored in order to claim Kosovo. But the reason that we do that is because... Why network? 
Bulgaria has claims on all of these, and we'll get we'll get reconquest claims, which is like 25% uh, aggressive expansion. Hungary will sometimes not even help you, anyways. They have a habit of not coming to to your aid when you're when you need it. Pretty nasty habit too. All right, so we've done that. Um, we're gonna call Bosnia as a co-belligerent, and I think we don't really need them. I'm just gonna try to do this by myself. Okay, so I can't- if I'm losing, I can just call them in. So the goal is to take out Bosnia first, and then Serbia, because Bosnia only has one castle to take out. Um, I think it's a 2 to 1k castle, which makes it easier. That, these guys. Yeah, this is one of my favorite strategies to do, like right after you fight the Ottomans, um, because Serbia has a lot of claims all over the place. Um, they have claims in the Ottoman territory, they have claims in Albania, they have claims in Bosnia, they have claims in Hungary. They have a bunch of claims everywhere, all around. So it's actually a really good country to vassalize. And they obviously have the, uh, where is it? they have one of the only, what, five gold provinces in Europe? You don't count this one? Which is, that's definitely Asia. Yeah, so they have one of the only uh, five in Europe, which is really, really nice to have. And, Serbia almost always allies, only allies, uh, Bosnia, maybe Herzegovina, but it's basically these three countries as like a pact. Very, very rarely Wallachia, but usually Wallachia is uh, rivaled against these guys, so that's why they're usually like enemies. Alright, so they're, these guys are out of the war. There goes Bosnia. Enforce my religion? What? What? Why not? Alright, one more turn. We move, baby. But I wanna see. And I force my religion on them, which is just funny to do. I probably have to fight these guys. God damn it. I don't I don't have the manpower. I can't let them get this. Land maintenance, Genoa. Yeah, we'll do that. Five more maneuver. Two against Chet. Whatever. Help me, Athens. Yo, they're leaving. Why are they leaving? Bro. You guys suck. Oh my god. They're not. Oh shit, they're not helping either. Alright, so their army is now destroyed. Finally, my guy, like Jesus Christ. It's gonna scare this guy away. Oh, we won. Okay, so we're gonna going to take Kosovo, vassalize the rest, um, and obviously take all their money. I'm gonna tell them not to give up any of their claims. They are Orthodox. They are already orthodox. Okay, so that is a hundred. I just want to see. I'm not gonna release Montenegro. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that war is over, and once I, um, once I take Kosovo, then I will release Bulgaria. I just want to make sure Kosovo is not part of Bulgaria. Um, I'm going to release Bulgaria now. So I don't really explain why I do this in the video, so I'm going to explain it now. We re release Bulgaria as a subject nation because they have reconquest claims on all these other areas left in the Balkans that the Ottomans have. 
and when you have a reconquest claim it is a 25 percent aggressive expansion penalty normal claims the most of the claims that i'll get throughout the game playing as a byzantium through my missions will be 100 percent so 25 percent is a massive reduction and aggressive expansion is something that we want to keep as low as possible so that's why we release Bulgaria and use their reconquest claims to take back the rest of the Ottoman territory. Yeah, I think I kind of have to go to war with Venice right now because they are so incredibly weak. I think I will go to war with them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you on the next episode and more. I hope to see you guys possibly in my next stream. Thanks for watching.